Well, spring has well and truly sprung and things are bursting out with colour and new growth all over the place. But along with the good weather comes unfortunately sometimes cold nights that might get to beneath freezing point and that can damage the soft young growth and fleshy flowers on some plants that are early flowering like my star magnolia here which unfortunately was damaged in a frost that we had last night. The big fleshy flowers unfortunately are vulnerable when the temperatures dip beneath freezing point. But if you're in a situation like me where you're having some damage what can you do to prevent it? Well, we could do like the commercial growers and spray water over plants, particularly if there's a lot of plants concentrated in one area. Hook up a hose and spray water over it. You see, when water is sprayed and it releases latent heat, and that's often enough to prevent damage. Well, if you just have a few isolated small plants like this hydrangea here with soft young growth on it, you can employ the old method of putting some form of protection over the top of it. Just gather the branches in, cover it up for the night and that will do the trick. It's not too pretty but at least it will prevent the damage during the night. But when you have taller plants like this Japanese maple here that's got a lot of soft young growth, you're going to have to employ other methods. Now that would mean putting some sort of insulation material over the top of the plants, draping it over. In the old days we used to use sheets, perhaps even blankets, though they tend to be a bit heavy. Yeah, I sometimes use the fabric that I use in the garden for collecting up trimmings and weeds and so on. And plastic is better than nothing, but honestly plastic isn't that great because it tends to collect humidity in underneath and the temperature under plastic can sometimes actually be colder than it is out in the open air. But for me, the best material is this fleecy frost blanket. This is great stuff. It's light and airy so it floats over the tops of the plants. It has great insulation properties and yet it breathes so it doesn't collect moisture underneath and best of all it allows light to pass through so that if you have to leave it on your plant for a day or two it's not the end of the world. It won't matter but whenever all frost passes you can take it off and you'll be able to enjoy your plants and very easy to put on. Just cut it into strips, tie it onto the plant or you could use garden twine, perhaps weigh it down here on the bottom with a rock, something that will help to keep it in place and you'll be able to enjoy your magnolias, your Japanese maples or whatever it is that you have to protect very easily with minimal cost. Well that's all very well but what do you do when you have a magnolia like this one that's 25-30 foot in the air that's full of gorgeous blooms and you can't get up to the top of the plant? Well you might have to employ a cherry picker or else do like the citrus growers and put some heat underneath it just enough to raise the temperature to prevent the damage. And remember, if all else fails and you haven't been able to get out to protect your plants, you can always go out and cut them and bring them indoors. Put them in a vase like these ones so that you're able to enjoy them indoors whether it freezes outside or not. Now there's lots more information on our website, gardensplendor.com. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment too. Garden Splendor